Hello, everyone. My, uh, my name is Sota Watanabe. Uh, can you hear me? OK, cool. Uh, thank you for joining my session. Today, I would like to talk about the future of smart contract platform for multi-chain. So uh, a little bit about myself. I'm founder of Asta Foundation and also uh, founder of Next Web Capital. And the, recently, I was selected uh, for Usati and Upsati Asia, thanks to uh, our amazing team. So my, my topic today is the, all about multi-chain. And the Asta network is a future of smart contract platform for multi-chain era. So I would like to highlight the smart contract and also multi-chain. Uh, this is our ecosystem map. So after the 2.5 years developments, we launched the mainnet in January. So we are like seven months baby, but our ecosystem is getting bigger and bigger. Currently, we are supporting more than 70 uh, DeFi projects and 20 uh, NFT projects. And this is our backer. Uh, we are backed by tier one VC and legendary individual, including Binance, Coinbase, Polychain, and the Gavin Hood, founder of Ethereum and Polkadot. So before joining uh, the multi-chain talk, I would like to speak about Japanese nar narrative. It's because we, we come from Japan. And the, our biggest market is Japan right now. So 9% market share. And second biggest one is the US, 6.5% uh, share. Uh, Japan is one of the most restricted countries, as you know. But we entered the Japanese market uh, three days ago. And the, to celebrate our entry, we published the advertisement on Nikkei Shinbun, which is the largest newspaper in Japan, backed by 200, 329 companies, including the biggest bank, uh, listed internet companies, and so on. So Japan used to be a number one in terms of the trading volume of the Bitcoin seven years ago. But we completely lost momentum. So together with more than 300 companies, Asta would like to be the go-to market chain for people who would like to enter the Japanese market. And we established uh, Asta Japan Lab, backed by uh, big companies like Dentsu, Hakodo, SoftBank, Accenture, Microsoft, and AWS. So we would like to push Web3 adoption in Japan. But uh, we have uh, 35 people right now, uh, 10 people in Asia, 15 people in Europe, so 10 people in the US. So we are making our product globally. And I would like to speak about how multi-chain should be. And this is the topic, agenda. I'm going to talk about the problem and solution and conclusion. So the, the problem of multi-chain right now is when you say multi-chain, this is just a copy and a paste of the Solidity codes on another Ethereum budget machine. So copy and paste is great. You can focus Uniswap today and deploy Uniswap contract on another EVM chain. So which accelerate you know, innovation. So this is good. But uh, if you'd like to make something unique, something new for the next generation, copy and paste is not enough. And the, as a result, the, there are a lot of the silos and this makes US user experience horrible, horrible because you, know, you cannot use ECDM liquidity on, let's say, Asta. If you deploy Uniswap on Asta, you cannot leverage ECDM liquidity. Right? So in my opinion, application needed to be connected, not in an application level, but, but on a, a protocol level. So we have to connect protocol layer instead of the application layer. And another topic I would like to cover is uh, there are a lot of the silo. And if you if you'd like to use, let's say, USDC on the top of Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, Astar, you have to manage a lot of the USDC in four different networks. So UX is going to be really bad. So what if, if we can connect protocol instead of the application. So we can leverage uh, ECDM USDT or USDC on Asta without changing the network. So this is what we would like to make. And the second problem is 
EVM is great. I love EVM. But uh, Ethereum virtual machine has a lot of the limitation. And some major layer one blockchain, like Solana, do not support EVM. And the last one is developer are paying a lot of the cost to deploy smart contract. So blockchain is all about incentive design. But uh, incentive design for the developer is absolutely broken. Why? Because developer is paying a lot of the cost to deploy smart contract. Right? So developer should be rewarded because they are the one of the most important people in a blockchain ecosystem. So what we need is at least three, and this is our solution. So we are making our blockchain in, inside of the Polkadot ecosystem. So we can transfer asset from Asta to other Polkadot chain without any trust through trustless bridge. And it is called XMP, the cross-chain messaging passing. And second one is that we need sustainable and decentralized on-chain developer incentive. So this is called the build to earn concept. So before Asta, people are paying, developer is paying a lot of the cost to deploy smart contract. And after the, after the Asta, developer can earn token while making smart contract. How? Um, we are making the one blockchain, and we have a inflation. Block is mined, 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 and we, we distribute uh, block reward to developer based on their contribution. So if you are a developer, and if you get attention from the market, you can earn token by making smart contract. So this is very unique feature only Asta Network supports at this moment. And the last one is WebAssembly. So we need a more sophisticated OS, operating system, which is virtual machine for smart contract. Uh, right now, Ethereum virtual machine has a lot of the limitation. So we also support WebAssembly. So WebAssembly and EVM is a little bit technical. So I would like to use analogy. So EVM is like uh, Windows OS. And WebAssembly is like Mac OS. So right now, a lot of the people are using uh, Windows OS. But it's widely used, but it's not sophisticated in terms of the technical perspective. So what we would like to do is to support Windows OS, EVM, and Mac OS, WebAssembly, at the same time, and make them interactive. So everyone is using, using PowerPoint, Excel. Right, what? You can use PowerPoint on the top of Windows, on the top of Mac, and you, even though you are, you, you are using uh, uh, PowerPoint on the top of Mac, you can transfer PowerPoint to Windows users and vice versa. So what we would like to do is to support EVM and WebAssembly at the same time and make them interoperable. So this is a very unique feature, and we are calling it uh, cross virtual machine. So we are in a Polkadot ecosystem. So Polkadot consists of relay chain and the parachain. The relay chain is the heart of the Polkadot, the center one. And the parachain is the own blockchain, layer one, that has own logic. So parachain can be smart contract chain, DeFi chain, NFT chain, you know, even you know, supply chain use case, and so on. So we are making smart contract layer on the top of Polkadot. The reason is Polkadot does not support smart contract by design. So all the people, all the people who would like to make you know, application on the top of Polkadot need at least one smart contract chain. And this is where Asta Networks comes in. Uh, and thanks to XCMP, cross-chain messaging passing, we can leverage trustless bridge. So if we send Asta token to other parachain, and if we receive uh, other parachains token to Asta, this is pretty much trustless. So there is no hack. So we see a bunch of the bridge hack every three months. Yeah. Right? So we need trustless architecture. And in the future, the application should be connected in a protocol level, not in an application level. So XCMP make, uh, make protocol connected, and we can make innovative next-generation multi-chain use case by leveraging XCMP. 
and this is what we would like to make. So Asta connected to Polkadot, and we connected to Ethereum, uh, Cosmos, and also Binance Smart Chain Polygon. So we would like to connect all the blockchains. Then people can make next generation multi-chain use case on the top of Asta. Uh, when it comes to Polkadot, we have already connected to Polkadot through trustless bridge. But outside of the Polkadot ecosystem, we did not connect our blockchain to, let's say, Solana with trustless bridge. So we need to trust minimize the bridge. And this is where Sigma, made by Chainsafe, and LCP, made by DataChain, comes in. So we connect our blockchain to Polkadot with trustless bridge, and we connect our blockchain to others with trust to minimize the bridge. So true interoperability for multi-chain with trustless bridge. This is the Asta's unique feature, number one. And second one is the basic income for developer. As I said, the developer is the most important human resource in the blockchain ecosystem. But they are paying a lot of the cost to develop smart contract, right? Why they are paying? Why? You know, be, because you know, Ethereum and the other blockchain does not have a proper incentive for developer. But after the Asta, um, we are making our blockchain for developer, by developers. And we distribute basic income based on their contribution. And peop this is our application portal. People can stake Asta token on application. And then they can get staking reward. And based on how many tokens each project get, we are going to distribute basic income through block reward, from block reward. And this is our application portal. This is version 2. So we are making like Apple Store on Polkadot. So we are not going to take 30% of the commission fee. <laughs> so a lot of the application will be listed on our portal, and people can stake a star token on application. And then application can get a basic income from, from block reward, which is a really unique feature. So we would like to make developer-centric platform. The last one is the WebAssembly. We are supporting not only Ethereum virtual machine, but also WebAssembly. EVM is really great, and it's widely used in a blockchain ecosystem. But the performance is very low, and language is very limited. Solidity and Viper, and mainly it's for Ethereum developer. So right now, we are in front of the mass adoption in terms of Web3. So we need a virtual machine for Web2 developer. And WebAssembly is made by Google and Mozilla and such a big company for Web2 big company. So supporting WebAssembly Web means supporting Web2 developer for Web3. And Gavin is the founder of Ethereum and Polkadot, and he's, he also mentioned that WebAssembly is going to be the future of the smart contract, but the legacy EVM is right now. So we are seeing the transition from EVM to WebAssembly. And what we are doing is having two virtual machines at the same time and make them interactive. And this is the key success through factor for the next generation multi-chain layer one smart contract. So again, unlocking Web3 for Web2 developer is the things we are doing right now by supporting EVM and WebAssembly. So conclusion. So multi-chain future is inevitable. But we need to change the concept of the multi-chain. We need to connect the application not in an application layer, but in a protocol layer. So we need more trustless bridge, and we need, we need to improve our user experience, and we need more reliable and sustainable incentive design. So we are supporting build to and concept and WebAssembly. The last one is trustless bridge is super important, because a lot of the blockchain will be connected, but uh, we are seeing hack every three months right now. So we need to improve our infrastructure. So lastly, we are always hiring. We raised luckily more than 30 million, backed by Coinbase, Binance, Polychain, and so on. So we are hiring WebAssembly smart, develop, smart contract developer, senior substrate developer, developer relations, and DevOps. Yeah, uh, thank you very much for listening. <laughs>